You mentioned Damian Lillard, by the way, uh, what some things that he might have said, and he did. He said some things on the J.J. Redick podcast. Let's take a listen. While I understand we play to win championships, we all want to win the championship. We can't keep acting like nothing matters, like the rest of the stuff, the journey doesn't matter. We can't keep doing that. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like there are so many ways that the league is different. There are so many ways, and I, I think about it all the time where I'm like, man, I just don't, I don't know if, I don't know if I'm, if I can just play a long, long time because I don't, I don't enjoy what, what the NBA as a whole is becoming. Man, JJ Reddick's doing the Bryant Gumble where he just writes while the guy's talking. I love it. All right. So it's you buying that time, Eddie, you buying that, that, that Dame's right about ring culture in the league. He was talking about a little bit more than ring culture. He, he actually got it like the youth of the league, too. And, and <laughs> look, we all reach our mid-30s and become our uncles, and we're just grumpy on the porch complaining. But I do buy what he's saying. And I, I, I do get his overall point where he talks about later, like, yo, I live a great life. I, after, after basketball, I go home, I have a whole life. I have friends that don't play basketball. I, I have this whole situation outside of, like, the three hours you see me and. I get what he's saying, and, and we're in a world now with social media where we can view athletes as more than jerseys and the back of cards with numbers and stuff, and, and that's basically what Dane's getting at because he's lived that life. He's understood that. I think people will take this as, like, anti-ring culture from a guy without a ring, but, like, ring culture is toxic, too. Like, you can have a successful season and not win a ring. The Oklahoma City Thunder are elated with the season they've had, and they're not going to sniff a ring. So it's like we've we've – in, in social media, we just turn it into these arguments and these baseless debates about who's the best, and, and that's what we go to. We go to, like, this person has rings, this person this. And so he's right. I'm with him. I, I think it might be right message, wrong messenger, because people are going to immediately say, well, of course you don't care about rings. You don't have none. But he makes <laughs> a great point. I, I'm curious about Chandler, too, because he's, he's lived that. He's lived that, like, yo, I leave the locker room, and now I go back to regular life, and people think of me as a contract and all this stuff. So... I know you had to have heard this and like, yo, he's cooking. He's podding right now. I, I do. I think winning a championship and having a ring is the most watered down stat or, you know, you could have, let's say, let's say Dame right before the deadline, he got traded to Milwaukee or, and he wins a ring this year. All of a sudden that makes him a better player than he already is. Or, you know, Blake Griffin's on the cusp of winning a, a, a being a, in the hall of fame. Right. He wins a ring this year in Boston that just he's now an NBA champion. So he's now a Hall of Famer, even though he did really nothing for the Celtics all season long. Like, I don't understand that. Like Zaza Pachulia, he gets all these rings <sighs> and careers, But then so teams want him to bring that championship ex championship experience and culture to the locker room. It's like that's where it gets watered down because anybody could get a championship like Damian Jones, I think has three rings. I don't even, I don't know where he's playing right now. So like it is, it's, it's what you play for. It's what you want. And it is not even, I'm not even going at those guys that, you know, that I just mentioned because it's just, it's part of it. And it's part of it. where like, that's why you see guys at the end of their career that they have all the stats, they have the resume, all they need is a ring. I think Blake's a perfect example icing on the uh, cherry on top. If they, if the Celtics won a championship this year, I think Blake is, a, is going to the hall of fame without that. It's like, it's kind of up and down. Is he, is he not? But even though he didn't really play a lot this year, so it, it is weird and it is watered down because uh, I could right now go sign for the rest of the season on the bucks and win a championship this year. And on my, on my Wikipedia, I'm an NBA champion with doing <laughs> nothing all year long. It's, 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 it's a little lame to me. And I, I respect Dame for staying there and not making it about that. But it, it is nice. Obviously, that is what you play for. That is what you go to camp early for. That is what you grind for. That's what you watch film and do all the workouts for. But it is just like when you're look, talking about who's better. Well, this guy's got this many rings. That guy's like, it's silly. Like, it's 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 a silly argument. Better career, right. better Somewhere. player, maybe. Better career and player is, is sure. Yeah. Like, Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce has a championship. I think Tracy McGrady was better at basketball than him, but he doesn't have a championship. You know what I mean? So it's it's two different art it's two different arguments. Yeah, somewhere along the lines, we forgot this is a team sport. And not only is it a team sport, <laughs> it's like the consummate team sport. You you can't win without great teammates. I've seen this argument all the time. It's like, yo, uh, this person did it all. They backpacked this team. They carried no, you, everybody who's won a championship, they had great teammates next to them. They had a great coach, they had a great organization. 
it's not an individual award. The championship ring is not an individual. They give them to all 15 guys. They give them to the coaches. They give them to the owner. They give them to the GM. They give them... Teams and organizations win championships, but somehow we've whittled it down like it's tennis and said, yo, this guy is better than that guy because that guy has one and that guy has zero. Just like you just said, most people think Tracy McGrady is better than Paul Pierce. All due respect to Paul Pierce. But, like, if you're arguing Paul Pierce, that's just, you're starting your argument, well, well, Paul Pierce won a title. Do you not think the Celtics would have been great with prime Tracy McGrady there as well? Like, what are you saying? And then you bring up, like, Robert Ory has this many, and, mm -hmm. and then you're talking about superstars. Like, so is Robert Ory better than Carmelo Anthony? Like, what are, we, what are we doing here at some point? So when we strip away all the nuance and context of the conversation and we turn the NBA Finals into a one-on-one -on -one contest – now that's what was ruining the sport and the conversation around the sport. And I think Dame's right. It's really damaging the way we view the sport, and it's, it's, it's unfortunate. Well, this is a great time to take a break because when we come back, what we're going to do is exactly sort of what you guys um, – we're talking about we're gonna we're gonna get a list of players we're gonna rank them but it's all according to paul george <laughs> so we're not in trouble on this one that when run it back returns and for the record we don't mention zaza patchouli in my presence ever again thank you